you're watching my series diary. Guys, I've rewatched Archer season one to five just so I can do this. It is a great weird cartoon series. It deals with a James Bond type hero, James Bond type spy that works for ISIS, which I found quite funny since ISIS is a terrorist organization. He j he's just a spy because his mother hired him, boss who's in charge. He just likes killing people and being and shooting stuff and blowing stuff up. He, he enjoys that. He's not take he doesn't take anything seriously. He seems to go on about that uh, everybody owes him something. Now the series goes on where he schemes to do things that would make him happy and other people suffer a little bit of it, but it's quite funny. His mother is a alcohol addicted drunk. He, he has mommy issues. Then his ex-girlfriend, which is a black woman, very well drawn, has anger issues. Then they have a nerdy guy that does the finances and lawyer stuff, which is Cyril. He's a sex addict. Then you have, and, and then you have this, this secretary who is a, which I won't, wait, I won't give that away, away, which is addicted to weird sex positions and choking. I guess that's something. Then they have Chubby Pam, which is the human resources director, which does, she doesn't do a good job, but she's quite funny. She blabs about everything. And then you have the Hitler clone. Uh, the weird doc, ginger doctor. All this is thrown into um, the first two seasons where they just go loosely on every weird storyline they can do and every joke. And then from season three, they actually use a lot of the jokes they did in the first two seasons as backstory, which I find a stroke of genius. The series is quite dark, quite sexual, and filled with modern media. So especially things that happen in the world or even just celebrities and stuff like that. What I do find enjoyable where they, is where they show Archer as this brute that just does what he wants, but he's actually quite intelligent. He makes a comment and people's like, no, it's not that. And then he actually gives a quite intelligent answer and worked out strategy for the circumstances. And he's quite knowledgeable about books and events and movies and things that happened in the past. Now, what I also enjoy about this is they they make it clear it looks like it's happening in the 60s, 70s, the USSR is still there, and seems Cold War vibe. But then they still have modern technologies. They have cell phones, they have the right cars, stuff like that. I find that quite amusing, where they mix Cold War relations with uh, modern technology, stuff spies always want. They take day-to-day -day events which would bore you in any soap opera and actually makes it quite funny and quite entertaining. And you're never sure about the outcome. I can definitely recommend this. If you like Venture Brothers or, or Boondocks, it's for you. It's brilliant. Watch it. The sixth season just came out. I would highly recommend to watch that as well. Okay, guys, please, please comment down below how, how I can improve this channel. And thanks for watching.